Welcome family, welcome friends, welcome fellow creatives. Chevzy here, uh, so the journey continues uh, and a massive welcome back if you're tuning in from last time uh, and if you're new to the channel, you're fantastic. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's commission. So this one's for one of my work colleagues, Hayley. Uh, I did say I'd give her a little shout. So hi Hayley, hope you're well, hope you liked, hope you subscribed. So today we're gonna be working on a 100 centimeter by 30 centimeter canvas. So it's quite long and thin. Uh, and we're looking at 10 colours as well, so quite a variation, ranging from violets through to blues to uh, metallic cyans and a bit of gold and bronze in there as well. So, okay, enough chat for me. Again, I'm going to jump into something which I'm not going to ruin. Perfect, let's do this. Oh, before we get going, I want to say a massive thanks to George Morris, um, whose name's George here. Georgie, you good? Excellent. George loved him so much that um, he couldn't resist naming him after himself. So from both of us, a massive thank you, George. But on with the show. Let's do this. Let's crack on. Uh, I hope you enjoy the pour and we'll be back soon. So again, guys, a massive welcome back if you're returning from the last uh, video. And if you're new to the channel, then a huge welcome. Uh, if you do enjoy the content, then please consider a little cheeky click in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Uh, and subscribe away, be much appreciated. So we're just looking at a couple of the pearlescent paints here and here's the full selection of paints which we'll be using for the pour today. So I use uh, a pouring medium, which is uh, a one litre bottle here from Hobbycraft. seems to mix very well with the paints and quite a large bottle so we'll go a long way. So guys as you can see here we're just finishing up mixing the last of the paints ready to prep the canvas. Uh, always a good idea to make sure your canvas is on a level uh, it helps with drying and ensuring that the paint doesn't fly off in random directions. So we're going to do a uh, split pour um, we're going to have one side white as a base coat, which you can see here. Always a good idea to mix up enough paint to try and coat it in one hit. Just smooth it out there. Uh, and then we'll give it a nice little blitz with the uh, blowtorch just to take out any of those pesky air bubbles which will dry pitted if left. And then on the second half, we're going to drop a nice ultramarine blue, which is mixed with uh, some pearlescent blues as well, just to give it a nice bit of depth. Uh, when it mixes with the other colours, it, it really sets it off. A couple of finishing touches, uh, and then another quick blitz with a blowtorch, and then our background is done. So we're now ready to start the pour. Uh, I hope you enjoy. So the big thumbs up to signal that we've finished this one and here is the wet version of the pour. It's just in its drying stages and then we've switched over to the finished dry version there. So super happy with this one. I love the way the colours interact with each other and the split pour with the blue and white works out really well. So I hope Hayley will be happy. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers welcome guys. Family, welcome friends, welcome fellow creatives. Chevzy here uh, and the adventure can, uh, and there are... 
So if you are new to the channel, then a huge, huge welcome. Uh, I hope you do I hope you <coughs> Oh my goodness. Woo! Try that again. <coughs> 